Looks two receivers to the right, a setback to the left of McDermott, who's going to throw, steps up, takes off, gets to the 10, and that's all. He lost a yard. Takes off, and he's hit from behind and dropped. Don Mills, Jr. knocked him down back. Back to his right. He gives the ball to nobody. He keeps it now. Pitches outside. It's on the ground, and he's hit and dropped, and the bullets did not get it. The Eagles' defense was ready for that. They stayed at home. To the left to McDermott, who works from the gun on third down. McDermott throws into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown pass to tight end Fred Pozzello. Snap is good, the kick is up, the kick is blocked. It's still heading toward the goal post, but it didn't get there. Good snap, it's down, it's up, and it is perfect. In motion far side, McDermott rolls far side, he's hit and dropped. He was clobbered down there by Logan Whitaker. Sam to throw, now he rolls right, keeps it. He's still rolling, he's hit and dropped to the five. Boy, what a hit. My goodness, a big hit by Chance Morris. Snap is good, it's down, it's up, it's blocked. It is blocked. Second down and about 13. McDermott pitches. And there's a great cutback by Wigley and he's gonna score. Behind Matt Basarczyk who wants to throw and fires and it's tipped and it's intercepted at the Bridgewater 17-yard line. Dermott gives to Wigley off the left side. He's got room, he's at the five. Did he get in? He did. Rushing to throw, looks, hit, got away. Rolls to his left and fires. He's got a man wide open. Keith Jennings in midfield, 45-40, 35, and out of bounds. Like something. Rushing fakes to the tailback, wants to throw. Flushed out of the pocket, rolls right, now chased and hit and throws and it's caught. Beautifully done by rushing and a nice catch down there. Lone set back behind rushing on third down. Ross straight back, throws, caught, touchdown. Keith Jennings. Big hole, 35-40, 45-50, maybe a foot race, 40, 30, 20. 15, 10, and he's driven down. All right, so coach, obviously a lot to work on, but it is week one, it is non-conference. What are you gonna try to look at to get better over the next week heading into Greensboro? Well, when I told the guys in there, Jimmy, that that was brutal. I, we weren't a very good football team tonight, and certainly they had to have seven months to prepare. I wasn't a very good coach if that was the product I put on the field. And, you know, I apologize to that. I mean, but I, as I told the kids, uh, as brutal as it was and as bad as it was and it was bad on multiple levels it wasn't one individual or one group uh, you know that was a collective thing give a lot of credit to Gettysburg they were well prepared they played very well uh, we knew that quarterback could run the football and we weren't prepared to manage him today in their offense but it really doesn't impact any of our long-term goals uh, it, it, we can't be 10 and 0 I, I do understand that but also, it's going to be a big challenge. If it was mid-year, you take games like this and you kind of flush them and move on very quickly. But where we're at right now, we got to have some guts and some courage and discipline. And we have to come in and watch this and ID it and say, how can I get better? Where do I need to improve? Because right now, uh, you know, that product was unacceptable, not just to me, but everybody in that locker room. And you know, we need to use this as a, as a wake-up call. There's no question. There was a lot of us, maybe we thought we were a little bit more, a little better than we were. Okay, and this was a very humbling experience tonight, but uh, I'd rather have it happen in game one than game nine. Uh, I've got plenty of time to recover, and so do the kids in that locker room.